Greetings, family. Let's talk about debt for a minute. I know, that's the scary word, that's the boogeyman word, but we gotta talk about it. And let's be realistic. We live in a capitalistic society here in the West, here in America. We live in a debt-based system, a fractional reserve, debt-based system. So we have to be realistic about this. And the average American has or is accruing some form of debt or several forms of debt. Maybe it's personal debt um, from family and friends that you borrowed money from for some reason. Maybe it's student loans, maybe it's a car payment, maybe it's some type of consumer debt, you know, credit card debt and things like that. Whatever it is, the average person in America is carrying some debt and a lot of that isn't necessarily because of you, it's the system. And this is the way the system is set up. So we can understand that this is the system that we're living in, or we can uh, bury our heads in the sand like an ostrich and act like it doesn't exist and we're not a part of it. And we are, right? We are a part of it. So you're gonna let it happen to you or you're gonna take control of your situation, right? And now there's an understanding that we have to have. And that is that all debt is not created equal. There is a such thing as good debt, and there is a such thing that is called bad debt. And uh, good debt, very simply, is any debt that pays for itself and you make money off of it, right? That's good debt. And bad debt is any debt that does not pay for itself and if not managed properly um, it can eat you alive right this is good debt and this is bad debt and this can help us in an understanding of what an asset is and what a liability is and very simplistically we can say um, an asset is anything that puts money in your pocket and liability is anything that takes money out of your pocket right so you look at all this in this way, and we just say this to say that many of us accrue bad debt, right? And no one is excluding anyone here. I'm not excluding myself here. We're just talking through this, right? And we get this bad debt, and we just try to um, maintain a lifestyle on the bad debt, and then we try to utilize our jobs to pay off the bad debt but we then get into this space eventually where we're working for the debt and no longer working for ourselves because I thought that we went to school, got good grades, got a good education so we can get a good job so we can live a good life and not do all of that to get this job and then we're just utilizing the job to pay all the people that we owe for stuff, right? And then not living our lives well, right? So. I would like to uh, submit to us that we need to begin to find ways to first make the distinctions in our lives between what is good debt and what is bad debt, um, if we have any debt at all, right? Um, others find a way to live a lifestyle without any debt at all, and that's fabulous. Um, but if you're in a space of debt, whether it's good debt or bad debt, um, or, or with the good debt leveraging the debt to your benefit, um, if that's how you're living, that's how you're living. I'm not saying good, bad, or indifferent. I'm just saying what is. Now, but if you have the bad debt, though, we, we, we have to discern now. What do we actually have? Do we have any debt? Do we have good debt? Do we have bad debt? Find ways to eliminate the bad debt from your life. Um, find ways to get it done, right? Find ways where you can take a percentage of whatever it is that you have coming in, regardless of how much or how little you have coming in right now, and start putting that toward the bad debt in order to eliminate it. Because we understand that we, we have to grow our monies, right? We, we understand that, we get that. And um, we understand that one of the best ways to uh, grow our monies is going to be through through business and, and through investments, right? We, we understand that. But if we're still carrying a lot of debt, then this is taking away from the resources that we have 
that we could be putting into ourselves, right? Investing into our mindset and our knowledge and our skill sets, learning how to do things that can produce wealth, right? It's gonna be taking away from monies that we could be putting into our businesses or monies that we could be putting into our investments. So um, because of this, um, there are different philosophies that you'll find out there and how we approach this particular uh, challenge. But what we um, do need to do is find a way to eliminate this debt. Um, even if that means taking 10 or 20% of whatever your earnings are and putting those things on that debt. And I'm gonna introduce a concept to you and that concept is called the uh, it's called the snowball. So, and I'm gonna I'm gonna speak real. I know there are some things that you know we act like uh, like don't exist, but I'm gonna talk real with us. So, um, most of us, most of us, we're gonna find that we do have some credit cards somewhere. Average American, right? Regardless of what you're doing or not doing with them, I'm not talking about that, but we have them. And there are balances that build up on them, right? Okay. So how about this? How about you take the lowest, um, the, the, the lowest balance that you have and you pay your minimums, you always pay your minimums, your minimums, right? And then you take that little bit extra that you have, that 10, 20% from your earnings, whatever it is, on top of your minimum and just pay that down until it's paid off, right? Okay. And whatever that minimum payment was, along with that 10, 20% you put on top of it, now that card is at zero now. So now you have this minimum and that 10, 20% on top, you apply all of that to your next card, okay? And now the next card, you're paying the minimum and you have the minimum free from the other cards, so you can put that on top and you still got your 10, 20%, you put that on top, right? And now you're making even a larger payment on the second card. You clear that out until it's zero. And now you do that on the third card, right? And get that down to the zero. And now you can take the same thing, the same concept, and apply it to your car payments, apply it to your student loans, apply it to that person that you personally owe a few dollars to. And continue to do this until you get all the way down to zero. And it works exponentially. So the more you make these payments and the more you get balances to zero, the larger your payments will become over time and then the faster you're able to clear out your debts as you go down this line until you have no debts at all. Collection thoughts.